let's solve this gate question they are saying that consider systems consider systems each containing five linear equations in n variables five equations okay in n variables actually you will you will understand this a little later but maybe uh, maybe for now you can guess it that variables actually come here x y if the number of variables come here if there are n variables it means there are n columns if there are n variables means n columns and each one in in rn okay variables are actually represent uh, the columns you will understand this no problem okay you will understand this very clearly slowly so variables actually represent one column every every variable represent just one column so if you have let's suppose x1 plus 2x2 and one is uh, 2x1 plus 3x2 something like that if you convert that then you will be or maybe third equation is 3x1 plus 4x2 something like that if you convert that then there will be a column for x1 which is 1 2 3 there will be a column for uh, x2 which is 2 3 4 okay so every variable just represent one column this is x1 column this is x2 column now they are saying n variables which means n columns and then they are saying that m equation which means there are uh, the every column is an rm okay so there are three statements and then they are saying something about these three statements can you just solve this question quickly option c most of them most of you are getting option c Okay, so Arpan is getting option B. Arnab, sorry, Arnab is getting option B. Uh, Mahavid C, Abhishek C, Saranya C. Okay, so uh, mostly you are getting C. Let me just check if C is the correct answer or not. So they are saying if n is m is less than n. Let me maybe take uh, for example maybe this is two, this is three. They are saying if this is a matrix of two into three. Okay. So suppose this is two into three, two columns. Oh, sorry two rows which means uh, this is in r2 and three columns this is in r2 this is in r2 so you have uh, you have two oh, you have two rows which means everything is in r2 then all such systems have the solution tell me just by saying that okay you have three columns in r2 does not make every column useful can you fill the whole space by three columns i mean random three columns won't work yes you can fill the whole space using three columns in r2 but not random three columns so and any any system will not work so all systems will not work there are some some systems will not work right so maybe some system look like this one two maybe this is just useless this is also one two maybe this is also one two okay these are just useless columns then then you cannot fill the whole space so that's why this is false if m is greater than n which means let's suppose this is three this is two which means you have everything in r3 this is in r3 this is in r3 these are the two columns in r3 then none of the system has a solution no it's not like that it's not like that none of the system is not it's not like that i mean depends on b maybe if you're copying just one of the column right if these two columns are, are in r3 this is in r3 this is in r3 now this is if you are just copying one of one of the columns probably then you have the solution and this is one zero so they are saying none of the none of the solution uh, none of the system then answer is answer is no you have the solution for some of the system so this is also false right okay. if m equal to n then there is a system yes there is a system there is there is just a system which has the solution which means if you have three into three maybe you have three columns uh, in r three then yes there is a system. Then for that you can have the solution. So that's why this is true. So C is the correct answer. See, we will be solving these questions again. Okay, whatever I am solving currently. So these two classes, or maybe two or three classes, you can consider, or maybe five, six hours. We are just building the basics. Okay. These two, three classes are not a formal classes, which means okay, don't worry about it. But uh, we will so we will be solving all of that. What we have done it, all of the all of the things, we will be doing it again. We will be solving this question again using the rank method. So actually, uh, like most of the coachings or most of the places will start from the rank and all, and they will solve these kind of questions using the rank and all. Like um, they will interpret this question using the rank and all. So we will come to that. We I will tell you the formal procedure. You do not need to apply any intuition or anything. I will tell you the step by step procedure to solve all of these questions. And in fact, we will be solving it using the method of rank. But for now, we are just understanding everything clearly. Like if we can, uh, if we can avoid a step by step procedure, or if we can use, uh, you know, some of the intuition to solve these questions. In option three, if it said all the systems, all the system does not have the solution. Yes, all the system does not have the. If this is all, okay. Instead of there exist, if this is all, then answer is no. Then answer is false. Okay. 
Mahavid is saying, sir, four C uh, solution is possible if three linear independent or depends on B. So yeah, yeah, you are right. So there exists a solution. Then answer is yes. Okay. So you are you are very much right. Okay. So let's see if these are true or false. So they are saying that every system of three equations and eight unknowns, which means you have three equations. Maybe one, two, three, and eight unknowns means like x, y, z, and like that. That are eight values, which means like if you make, let me go to the next page. If you if you write these three equations and eight unknowns, let me write x, y, z, w, maybe p, q, r, s, something like that. And then um, then one of the equation will be maybe equal to zero. Maybe it is. Uh, 2x plus 3y plus uh, maybe uh, you can have 1y 2z plus I mean uh, something like this maybe 4 and then maybe 9 then maybe 15 then maybe 20 then maybe 10 or something like that there will be one equation which is having uh, eight unknowns and, and and similarly there will be three equations so which means if you try to make this as ax equal to uh, zero then it will look like this so there will be uh, these are the eight columns that you will be having. These are the eight columns in three rows, which means this is first column, second column, third column, like that. There will be eight columns. And this is in R3. This is also in R3. Okay. Everything is in R3. You got it? And then they are saying, what they are saying? Has a solution. Every system, which means always have the solution. So uh, you, you have any A and B, you always have the solution. Do you always have the solution? If you have, um, you know, if, if, if you have, you know, eight vectors in R3. Tell me, you have eight vectors in R3. It means eight vectors in R3. Then do you always have the solution? No. Why, why you are saying yes? It depends on those eight vectors, right? If those eight vectors are just useless, maybe just one of them is useful. Okay. So if every system, which means, uh, which means you take any, any eight vectors, Okay, every system means A and B. A and B. You take any eight vectors or any B, then then the answer is yes. Then obviously no. So that's why it's, it is false. Okay, you are understanding, right? See, if I just give you more vector, doesn't mean that all those vectors are useful. Those vectors could be useless also, right? I, I'm giving eight vector doesn't mean that all of them are useful or maybe some of them are useful. Maybe just one of them is useful and everything else is just redundant. Maybe this is redundant, this is redundant, everything is just linear dependent. Maybe just one of them is useful. So that's why you will say that, okay, this is false. Okay, this is false. Let's go to the second point. Every set of five vectors in R4 is linearly dependent. Tell me, every set of five vectors in R4, obviously, you take the five vectors, then it has to be linearly dependent. Then that's why this is true. Okay. Every set of four vectors in R4 is linearly dependent. This is false. Can you give me one set which is which is linearly independent? Can you give me one set of four vectors in R4? Yes. Which what is convenient vectors? How it will look like this? Maybe maybe this is one vector. Another vector will look like this. Another vector will look like this. Another vector will look like this. Okay. So yes, there are four vectors in R4, which are linearly independent. These are linearly independent. They are saying there, do you take any, any set of four vectors? They are linearly dependent. No, this is not true. Okay. Now let's, uh, okay. This is basically false, right? This is also false. Let's go to the last statement, which is saying if A and B are M into N matrices such that B can be obtained by obtained from A by column operations. Okay. So they are saying that A and A is a matrix such that, I mean, you can get this B, okay. If you have this B, you can get this B by just a column operations of A. Maybe, maybe you, you do some column operations of A, of A, then you are getting this B, which means you may be having some, some combination of these three columns. And then you are getting first column. Maybe you are having some combination of these three columns. You are getting the second column like that. Okay. Like that they are saying. So. Uh, then B can, then A can also be obtained by the uh, column operations of B. They are saying that you can get B by linear combination of columns of A. Then does this mean that you can also get A by a linear combination of columns of B? May not be, right? May not be. 
may not be suppose this is this is a1 i mean this uh, okay first tell me if i'm writing a1 a2 a3 i mean you just try your best guess if i'm writing a1 a2 a3 then I, am i writing scalars or vectors obviously i should be telling you but uh, can you just guess it these are vectors right so uh, these are vectors let's suppose these are three vectors which is a1 a2 a3 and now there are let's suppose two vectors or maybe just one vector or maybe three vector five vector does not matter now let's suppose that here i have a1 i mean one of the vector is let's suppose a1 another vector is 2a1 another vector is 3a1 3a1 another vector is 4a1 i mean ultimately you just have a1 okay ultimately you just have a1 then can you get all of these three vectors using this b no right you cannot go from here to here need not to be i mean it depends on like uh, what are these vectors b so you will say no so can you always go from b to a if you are going from a to a, a to b which means if you are generating something by a linear combination of columns of a it doesn't mean that you can also generate a back by a linear combination of columns of b right so uh, which means which means basically this is a and this is b how can you get this b by a linear combination of columns of a maybe by using some other matrix okay which is c is this configuration correct or i should be writing something like this maybe i should be writing uh, maybe this c a b should i be writing something like this or this is correct tell me which one is correct if i am getting b by a linear combination of columns of a then which one is correct first one or second one first one is correct right so yeah i am explaining again don't worry so if i am if i am getting b by a linear combination of columns of a it means that there might be some coefficients and this first vector is a linear combination of columns of a and the coefficients are coming from here the second vector is also linear combination of columns of a so uh, the vector is coming from here right now let's suppose that these are the three vectors maybe a1 or maybe three vector five vector does not matter a1 a2 a3 for example let's take these are the three vectors now here suppose that this b okay this b could be anything let's suppose this b is a1 a2 or oh, sorry a1 2a1 maybe okay so let's suppose this is 2a1 and let's suppose this is 3a1 something like that suppose these are the three vectors that i have in b can you can you tell me this c can you quickly tell me c can anyone tell me this c the first should be this i am taking this now what should be the second column yes you brush very nice and the second column is i am i am actually taking two of this and i am not taking these two i am actually taking three of this i am not taking these two anyway c is something like this right so you are having b which is just actually one column which is a1 which is just one column now they are saying can you get back can you get back uh, this a from this b which means can you generate this a1 a2 a3 using just a1 no right if this a1 a2 a3 could be anything in general you cannot do it okay theek hai you got it yeah tushar uh, let's uh, i know <laughs> okay this is right uh, you are right okay so if c is invertible then you can do it we will come to this point later so this uh, this particular uh, this particular statement is false right is this okay to everyone i think only one of them is true which is uh, the second one everything is false theek hai that's just easy question not not much tough question hello yeah uh, yeah so am i audible yes you are audible so i had uh, one doubt in one question uh, in the uh, in uh, one slide where it other uh, question said that like, every set of five vectors in r4 is linearly dependent so that uh, can you just recap that quickly i did not understand how we are getting that as uh, true okay so every set of five, five vectors in r5 is linearly dependent so they are saying you have uh, sorry in r4 they are saying in r4 you have five vectors okay you take any five vectors since in r4 since this is in r4 since this uh, in r4 you can have at most n linearly dependent vectors you cannot have five linearly dependent vectors so that is why if you take five then it will automatically linearly dependent in rn in rn you can have at most like n linear dependent vectors if you have n plus 1 vectors it or n plus 2 vectors or anything more than n then it automatically will linearly dependent right sir okay so that's why this is true that so I've, here have we given any indication of the number of columns like uh, five vectors should we take it as n value of n 
five vectors in R R four. Five vectors in R four. They are saying uh, each of the vector is in R four. This is in also in R four. Right, sir. So, is this a uh, one of the m less than n case, sir? Can we take it like that? No, no. Don't uh, don't remember the cases and all. Okay, like uh, don't remember the case and all. Like I don't want you to think like uh, any case. This is not a case. Right. This is just a question. Okay. Don't think about the cases. Just take it normally that uh, there are five vectors in R five. This will be definitely linear independent because five vectors in uh, in R five cannot be linearly independent because there can be at most four vectors in R four that can be linearly independent. Other than four, you have anything that have to be linearly independent. Okay. Right, sir. So the question stated linear dependent, right? So, ha. Huh. So they are linearly dependent. If you take yeah. uh, more than four, it will be linearly dependent. Right, sir. Right, sir. got it, sir. Okay. So uh, in R two, there are only two vectors which could be linearly independent. Otherwise, if you take three vectors, they automatically get linearly dependent. So only two vectors are useful. Otherwise, all of the vectors are uh, linearly dependent. Okay. Right, sir. Got it, sir. Okay. Thank you.